airport worked. I would like to also I would, allow, I would like to introduce Mohammed Ali, who is a, a great person in the community. He has been doing an outstanding job within the community in terms of health, and uh, in, in that regard, he has been recognized by the um, Obama um, office and gave them uh, gave him an honor for the work that he has done. And let's welcome our brother, Muhammad Ali, and listen from him. Thank you. This initiative ensures living wages for workers who help make SeaTac airport and related business successful. When we opened this business, and we have been in business for over three years now, our challenges, we are making it through because staying in a business as a restaurant over three years, it shows some kind of successful. But that doesn't mean that we are where we want it to be at this time. Because of the people that shop around here, or the, our customers are making, they're making ends meet on a daily basis. I can't declare the numbers, but the majority of the people who eat here come from the airport, where they are cab drivers, where they are airport employees, whether anybody who works at the airport. And I have seen it, how they are making it, because the person who is trying to make, because of, on his pocket, he is trying to eat once a day, or he is trying to do something which, you know, because of the economy that he's facing. It is very hard to, st to live alone with a paycheck to paycheck, in a eight or seven or eight or nine nine dollar per hour pay salaries. So in that initiative, in this initiative approves, I believe the people will have a lot of pockets in their pockets, and then they will have time to go out and eat at places like us. Government. So that is the time that you see that an individual work could have a great impact for the positive any community. And that's the, thing, that's the thing that the FEMA, which is the Federal Emergency Agency, recognized us. That is the work that the Office of President Obama recognized us as the communities that could have an impact in their communities. So initiatives come from an individual, a small groups, and it will have an impact for the larger community. That's why I'm supporting this initiative to be passed. If I, if I were a citizen in CETAC, I could Because have... the proposition is good for all the employees of the airport, regardless of where they come from, and it's good for the business, and it's good for the community at large. The minimum, the living wage that's being proposed is going to help everybody involved. A lot of companies now are saying, "Why do you propose? Why do you? Uh, why are you supporting Prop One?" And companies are trying to say, "That's not a good initiative." The reason they are saying this is because they don't want to pay the workers well. They make a lot of money, yet they don't want to pay those workers well. The bottom line is, if they work, if they pay their workers well, then. It is also good for them because the members of the, of the employees will be motivated and a lot of business will be generated. But they do not want to, prop, uh, to support that. So we as a community would like to support. Um, it's only fair, it's only fair thing to do to support the Prop 1. When you talk about the minimum uh, living wage, when you talk about full-time employment, when you talk about uh, sick leave, those are great things that every employee needs to have. So we feel it is only fair that Prop 1 is passed. So it's time for us to get, uh, to stand up and get counted. We have to stand with the workers of the city of Seattle, uh, SeaTac Airport, and make sure that they are all, we get the uh, minimum, uh, the, the, the living wage, sorry. 
So I urge you all, we as a community, we will be helping this prop. I urge you all to stand up, to tell your friends, to your neighbors, to your family, and make sure that Prop 1 is passed. So finally, I would like to say, vote Prop 1 for the CTAC people, for the community, and for all of us. Thank you for coming. I got a little bit confused by now. Most of the other group only got it. Like him in in Han. I work for ESIC for almost four years now. And after some anxious days in ESIC, our boat was going to go to the river. We were 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 going to go to the river. Tetapi kucuran lah, atau mesti ada orang yang kuno. Mereka bahkan cara lain asal buat kerisan. Ini sih difficult mesti yang kesal. Yang kau fikir tu Somalia atau Sita degan, awal sih na Sita degan lah. Anak Sita degan degan. Tapi yang kau fikir tu Sita degan. Ina ushak tan, ina buat kerisan. I want to thank everyone for being here today. Uh, this is another special day. Uh, we're working towards that uh, Proposition 1 initiative. And if we all, you know, stand together and tell our friends and everybody in the community, we will, this, this initiative will pass because it will be able to give back to the community uh, with uh, many ways. I mean, I've worked here at SeaTac Airport for 19 years. And I've able, been able to, in the past, to give back to the community, to all these businesses up and down International Boulevard. And, uh, you know, it will help to uh, be able to sort the community in many public events and things like that, give back to all these businesses, like I was saying. And it will be able to, you know, for all of us to be able to uh, put away money for uh, going to uh, college or uh, put in my way for a kid's college and be able to uh, to uh, for our retirements and uh, so you know proposition one to me will give me the opportunity to do a lot of things and uh, so I just want to uh, thank Campaign everyone again. director at uh, with work in Washington uh, his name is Jonathan he's going to talk Tell us what Proposition 1 is in, and why we need to vote for Proposition 1. Welcome. Thank you. Salam Alaikum. It is so wonderful to be here together in the community. And thank you, all of Express Restaurants, the owner, Muhammad Ali, and all the workers for opening up your fine business to this community gathering. Let me ask you a couple of questions first. Do we want good jobs in the city of SeaTac? Yes. Hold up your sign if you want good jobs in the city of SeaTac. Do you want to see Proposition 1 passed? Yes. Hold up your sign if you want Proposition 1 to pass. Yes on Proposition 1. That's what we need to remember. We need to say it to our friends, our neighbors, our co-workers, now for the next month and a half. Do you know that Alaska Airlines and the other big companies that run the airport have put in nearly $300,000 to oppose Proposition 1? Why do you suppose they put in so much money to oppose Proposition 1? They want to continue to make lots of profits. Now, we want them to be successful companies, but with Proposition 1, we're saying, if you want successful communities, you need to pay workers fairly, and you can still have successful companies. This business is a perfect example of that. Workers can be treated fairly. The community can be treated fairly. With Proposition 1, we will make sure that that happens. How many people here live in the city of SeaTac? Raise your hand if you live in the city of SeaTac. And are you all registered voters? Who is not a registered voter in the city of SeaTac? Everybody here is registered. I know we got a new registration today. <clears throat> we can win this election 
even though they have most of the money on the other side, hundreds of thousands of dollars, we can win this election because we have the people, right? But we need to make sure that all of the people are eligible to vote and registered to vote. There are right now, by our estimates, several hundred people just in the East African community who live in SeaTac, who are eligible to vote, who are not currently registered to vote. They have only a week and a half to register before the deadline. What do you think we should do about that? We need to get them registered to vote. So one of the things that I want to ask everyone here to do, whether you live in SeaTac or not, this is something you do. How many people do not live in SeaTac and know somebody who lives in SeaTac? Okay, so almost everyone can do this. Whether you live in SeaTac or whether you live outside of SeaTac, in the next five days, I want everybody here to commit to talk to five people who live in SeaTac. Can you do that? Yes. Five people and ask them, are you registered to vote? And if they're not, get them a voter registration form. What do you think about that? Can you do that? Yes. Think about it. If everybody here has five conversations, that's over 200 conversations that we'll have we will register more people to vote. Now I say five days because in five days, it's Friday, people gather at the mosques, right? Bring your signed voter registration cards to the mosques. In five days also, Ahmed leaves for Mecca. He's going on the Hajj. Let's send him off with the great honor of registering more voters in SeaTac, shall we? So, we have voter registration cards. I'd like somebody who's at that table to take a stack of them and let's hand them out to people and take a couple each, at least. Again, think about five people that you can talk to in the next five days who live in SeaTac. Ask them, are you registered to vote? And if they're not, get them a voter registration card and bring it to the mosque or call Ahmed and have him come pick it up before Friday is over. The second thing that we're asking people to do is to sign a pledge card. And the pledge card is one of these blue and white cards. How many people here have signed them? People who live in SeaTac. Those of you who live in SeaTac, raise your hands whether or not you've signed a card. Do you live in SeaTac? Can we ask you to sign, fill out one of these pledge cards. This says I'm going to vote yes on Proposition 1. Does that make sense? We want everybody who's here who's a voter in SeaTac to fill out a pledge card and turn it back in before you leave here today. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure that you get reminded when your ballot comes out and reminded when it's time to vote. So please make sure you get one of these cards if you're a voter in SeaTac, okay? The third thing which we're going to talk about in a minute are these ballot parties. And Ahmed Moumen is going to speak about those in a couple minutes. Before we do that, I want to introduce a couple of other very important people who are in the room today. Is that okay? We have here today the Deputy Mayor of the City of SeaTac, Mia Gregerson. Mia, would you please stand up? And we also have Catherine Campbell. Please stand up. She is a council. She's a candidate for SeaTac City Council. <laughs> Catherine, why don't you come on up and say a couple of words? Catherine's name is going to be on the ballot this November, and she would like to say a couple of words. Thank you, Jonathan. Salam alaikum. Glad you're here. Very glad you're here. <laughs> One of the reasons that I'm supporting Proposition 1 for SeaTac is that I believe that everybody who has a living wage can give back. And I know that one of the tenets of the Islamic faith is charity. Many faiths believe in charity. 
And it's very difficult to give back to your community when you're not able even to keep yourself fed and clothed and housed. So this is an opportunity for all of us to give back or pay forward, as they say, into our community right here in SeaTac, but all the way around us. There are millions and millions of dollars of wages that will support businesses like this one, businesses all around the South Sound that can happen if we will get this proposition passed. So for your children's sake, for your own sake, and for the support of the community you live in, please help us get this passed. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. I know she's going to head out into the rain now and knock on some more doors. Good for you. Are we going to win Proposition 1 in November? Yes. All right. How many people are you going to talk to between now and Friday who live in SeaTac about registering? Five. Five. Everybody gets five. I'm going to turn this back to Ahmed Ali. Are we going to win the CTAC initiative, Proposition yes. 1? Yes. So, okay, when Kuku listen to Nasawahan, Proposition 1. For example, the Batuink, but then Jura Darintan or Kale, in community and awareness and casino. Sad Uktihin, the Proposition 1, it's very important in our community, um, especially to families. It empowers them. Um, it allows them, um, when, f when there's an increase of income, one uh, person that's working go to school, could save money. Um, matter of fact, we send money to our country to support our family. So, community gain uplift Marka empowerment here and I got not economical empowerment, um, inequality, what had or Hagdara, uh, what has in Nagasara, and uh, as a group, we are very much supporting and uh, we, um, and we're gonna take this to the community and tell everybody. That being said, um, Chief or driver, ah, um, and he knows a lot about Chief Kalohir, uh, Rala. Uh, he dri um, he's a limo driver and he understands also, he's part of our group. Um, uh, he knows about our group and he's a driver and he can talk about the limousine and the, uh, the airport since he goes to drive there every day. Say a little bit about it, inshallah. Uh, so, Bismillah rahman rahim Alhamdulillah, uh, كلن كان عن سكوي معني رنتي فرصة خالي واي سببتوا برنامج كان proposition one فإذا وين أي لذا هاي حاجة أو community جا يو حدا وعي وحنكويري نوي ما وعي تري ما يماني كرو سببتوا واجفة حالا دنا شقينا وحن حسوس تجبد أسوأ شيء إيدي لصورة في ويقادم وايس في وسح سببته آ لبس ستيمان أو فسح أي دو أي عطستي سداس أوجد وحاليري لبس بلاد إسكوحك توينا شقيس مالي ولبا حتى شرعي ودن كان مخور هاي وحق يعني حقوق دروي أو خفك in o lo diibo lo u sameeyo marka sida sawged marka waxa loo baahan yahay dadka Soomaalida inay ismaarkte in dhahan inaan furno inaan maskaxda na furno meesha hadii oo aan fursadan oo proposition 1 oo na daafto wa fursad aad u qaali ah waxay siinaysa dadkaas fursad marka insha Allah قريينا حتى هدي إلى شنقف أما تونقف أذوي يرتين ولا إيمانا يا registration كالي دي شيء جاي نظام كلو سميو يوصيد اللغة خب قل لها دو إلى إيرا دو وحي information فافاهين أنا دي جلسوا حريري كرتا مجيء عيجا شيفا لدها 
تلفون كيغا قادن كارتين أما عديكا لبرادر أحمد نو جوغا إنا نقريها إذا نكوه ويمانو أو أن إذن لبو حينو إنفورميشن كاس ورقضاها علاذاها أي علاذاها أو قابوحا كميدا أفسو مالكو مخرنو وأنا علاذ وين لأنو وحانا عدد بضن أو لكن حتى ورقضاهي أو ريجستريشن كا أفسو مالي بانكو قريواني سبب 